Hello, hello there everybody. This is Rosanna, otherwise known as Rosy Glow, just keeping the sunlight out of my eyes. I wanted to share with you one of my most favourite and recent success stories. And this is from a wonderful woman who I will just say was super successful in all areas of her life, um, but still single. And the one thing that she wanted more than anything, now that she had the material stability that she could create herself with grace and ease, was to have a partner to start a family with. Um, and she came to me wanting to work with me one-to-one -one and going through my Fearless Empowered and Free to Be Me content with a lot of bespoke tweaking, as we do with the one-to-one. -one. Um, and it was very, very clear that what was in the way was actually a very deep pain that she still held regarding a relationship that she had had that ultimately was, in her opinion, the love of her life. It was the deepest love she'd experienced ever, uh, both in receiving and giving. And the pain that she still felt over this uh, meant that it was difficult to move on and to attract anything different to that. Now, <laughs> she got in touch with me recently, and I'd say this was around nine months after she stopped working with me, to share with me the fact that a miracle had occurred through her following her intuition. And one of the key things we actually had to do when working together was to establish a reconnection with her trusting her intuition because obviously she'd fallen deeply in love with this man and um, it hadn't worked out, so how could she really trust her heart? And the love had really been there, it's just that at the time their lives were not compatible, they weren't in the space that they needed to be, and she felt incredibly let down by him, which created trust issues for her um, with the opposite sex. Now, the story that she told me was basically that she had to go to a town that she doesn't normally go to for work. It was very uh, out of the ordinary scenario. And her ex had already popped into her mind. Like she'd been thinking about him and wondering why she was actually thinking about him. And she went to this town and it was a very, very busy town. And she had a meeting and basically um, had time to go and get a coffee beforehand, which was very unusual for her. And leaving a very busy train station and coming up the stairs and having a sense to look up she actually saw her ex walking by and it was in her own words as though he stopped for a moment just for her to be clear it was him before he kept moving now it was her intuition that led her to be where she was at that time it was her intuition that had brought him into her consciousness that had made her think about him before she saw him saw him in her mind's eye before she actually saw him and she had this sense that she would bump into him this was just a sense that she had before she even went there and it was going to be a very um, out of the ordinary scenario if that had actually occurred because that's not where he normally frequents either and he wouldn't normally um, be on public transport uh, normally he it established as he communicated with her because she actually contacted him after this and said this is unbelievable um, but this is what's happened and it led to them basically coming to look again at where they're at in themselves and in the fact that they still deeply love each other and are actually in her own words much more refined in themselves and much clearer about what they want and as a result of that they're now since I last heard from her in a relationship again and all of the things that were not present the first time round are being willingly offered so that is commitment marriage and the desire for children <sighs> deep breath what got her here <laughs> what got her here well in her own words and this is why she was so excited to get in touch with me she knew that this could only have occurred because she had done the deep inner work to clear the pain and it had been essential for her to clear the, the pain that she had regarding their previous relationship in order for them to have a chance at having a different fulfilling relationship that wasn't based on the unfulfilled needs of the past but actually on the people they are today. And also she realised how important it was for her to evolve her inner family, her, the wounded inner masculine and inner family, uh, inner feminine and inner child which we all have uh, and is the result of our early learning experiences, the people we grew up around and who brought us into this world uh, and our early love experiences as well and connections to other people. 
for her it was essential as it is for anyone who wants to actually have the love that they dream of to evolve that inner family from the wounded inner family to the sacred inner family and she did a lot of work to heal her inner masculine and to heal her inner feminine so actually she could have um, more boundaried expectations that really served her highest good rather than giving and allowing a long state of giving and not receiving to occur so this was something that she did through the fearless and proud and free to be me program through looking at her conscious desires and clearing her subconscious programming that was in conflict to her conscious desires and taking the time that she needed and I really believe in this kind of nine months of gestation of like giving yourself that time to to cook up your new reality and to fully align with it and actually she had someone else come into her life and she was ready to pursue something else but really what she encountered was the all talk and no walk <laughs> uh, which was someone who was kind of saying all the right things but not really showing up the way that um, she that, that they were claiming to be uh, intending and this was where discernment came in and this is this is a value that comes from learning to trust yourself again is you can practice discernment you can feel when something is off you can feel when something isn't matching up and you have enough love and respect for yourself that you don't keep trying to make something that isn't working work when the other party isn't meeting you in that place of transmuting that which isn't working so it takes two to tango and you can't do a, do a dance on your own with someone who says they want to dance with you but isn't actually practicing the moves and learning to make them work with you right so you know you can try the dance once try it again sure but more than that you've got to ask the question why are you attempting to do something that isn't working again and again in the same way and expecting a different result we have to value ourselves and whether this relationship actually does flourish into the marriage and the, the commitment and the children or not I have another example of a client who actually was incredibly um, attached to an old love an old flame that that she felt an incredible connection to and found it very difficult to move on from and in the end through a series of events she did make the commitment to herself that it was time to move on and very quickly someone else came into her life and in this instance it was a bit of a whirlwind for her and she decided to say yes to it because it was really aligning with how she wanted to feel but <laughs> the opportunity also came that her ex who she was so caught up on came back claiming that they wanted to to start something again, to open to the possibility of something and to um, give it a chance. Now, again, this was a bit of a situation of talk and no walk because there were words without the actions to match it up and there were good reasons for that. But for this person, it was a very different scenario. It was one where she felt that what she needed had changed. And even though the experience came for her to step into if she wanted to, it wasn't her ultimate timeline. It wasn't her divine design timeline. And she didn't feel that that was the way to go forward. Her heart wasn't leading her. It would have been her desire to recreate something from the past and to make it work differently, which would have been an ego desire based on her previous wounds. And she had the discernment to uh, be able to work that out for herself because she had learned to trust her intuition and the fact that if a part of her was saying no, there was a reason for that. And when we don't abandon ourselves, when we actually show up for ourselves in those moments of doubt, that's when we start to build an inner dialogue of trust within our inner family. Our inner child starts to trust the inner feminine, the intuitive hunch, and the inner masculine that creates that boundary around that says, no, no, this isn't happening now. And so we start to thrive internally. And because we start to thrive internally, we start to see that in our outer world as well. So this is the thing, is that it can seem as though we have it all. And when love is missing in our lives, it doesn't matter how much money we have, <laughs> we still want love. And if we want love, we need to give love to ourselves. And part of being able to give and receive love is to really trust your heart which is incredibly difficult to do if your heart has led you to a lot of pain but what is important to understand is the heart has infinite wisdom it's taking you to where you can uncover the misperceptions you have about yourself and about love 
in order to heal them so that you can actually truly attract what you want. And it is often that we feel we want something, but in the end, it's something else that comes in that is what we really need. But we have to let go of controlling how it's going to happen. So there's this whole connection between desire and surrender. When you evolve your desire from your ego will to your divine will, you can trust the desires you have are heart-led, they are source-led, and go in the direction that is fulfilling the frequency vibration that you want to feel. That is the path that you are meant to follow. If you find yourself getting trapped again and again in a cycle that might seem different on the surface because, you know, some outer things have changed, but actually you're just going round and round a pattern of behavior within yourself and with another, then that is a sign of a karmic pattern that is coming from your ego self. So discernment is so important to be able to cultivate, but that can only come from you being able to trust your inner family, which can only come from you doing the deep inner work to heal the wounds of the past and to be able to show up for you in a way that no one else may have ever showed up for you in your life. So in celebrating this, this particular success story with this uh, client of mine, you know, my confidence is there that ultimately she knows now how to step forward. She knows now whether to keep going forward with this or not. And she knows that it was so important that she cleared her pain up around this relationship in order to be able to have a chance of having this relationship flourish in the future or to meet someone else who could meet her needs in a way that would suit her better as she has evolved into the divine version of herself, the, the greatest version of herself, the version of herself that she's most wanted to become. She had to step forward for herself. She had to do what I had to do and what every other woman and man I know has had to do in order to be met by someone on a level. And that is to start showing up for themselves. Okay, to start giving ourselves what we need. That included selling, uh, moving out of rented accommodation and buying somewhere for herself, even though she had wanted that to be the start of a dream with someone else. She knew that was something important for her to do and she didn't delay it. She just got on with it and trusted that it would be the right thing for her. She contemplated emigrating and starting afresh somewhere else. She opened to the possibility for herself to expand beyond her current narrative, her current view, and to look at the things that were preventing her from truly trusting herself to attract to her something that would really fulfill her. She healed her heart. And that's what I do with all my clients. I support them to heal their hearts. So if you're ready to heal yours and to attract what you truly want, you know what to do. I look forward to hearing from you. Namaste. So much love from my hammock. <laughs>